Hi there, and welcome to part two of creating some Kong drums. Um, I'm Rob, and uh, if you want to come visit my site, it's reason101.net. And uh, what we've got so far, we've got the bass drum, some tom drums, and I'm just going to add another tom drum in here. Uh, let's see, what are we going to use? Let's use this one. Okay, let's turn this into an overdrive. Let us turn this into a parametric EQ. And we are going to turn the frequency way down. Turn the gain um, down a little bit. Turn up the Q. Turn on the drive. Let's use a different model this time. Um, So there, we've got some very different drums, and it's all from the exact same Rex loop that's just been copied over. So that's our third tom. Now let's uh, create on this drum, let's just create a reverse kick, just for the heck of it. To do a reverse kick, the easiest way, simplest way to do this is to reverse it. So take this slice, select it, make sure it's selected first. You'll know it's selected because it's shaded. And then just click the reverse button. And all of a sudden, it should be reversed. Let's take uh, the other slice. Let's reverse that. And let's see what this sounds like. OK, not the greatest, but let's maybe take a different one. Uh, let's see, what would be a good candidate here? For a reverse. Um, possibly. Let's listen to it without any effects. There we go. Let's listen to this one without any effects. Right, yeah, that's the one we wanted. So there, you got a decent reverse, and I forget how I did the reverse kick last time. Uh, let's see. Reverse, that's right, I used a compressor, and it was on the first one. So let's try that out. Let us see. Okay, so we'll take this one, we'll reverse it. Yep, not too bad. Um, and of course, we'll compress it a little bit, reduce the attack, reduce the release. Actually, let's increase the release a little bit. There we go. Let's increase the makeup. And there's your reverse kick. Okay, next, let's try to create a snare drum. Now, to do a snare using these samples, I find it's a little bit quirky, um, not really crazy on it. So what I'm going to do is select a, whoops, wrong one, select to load the file, and I'm going to take a actual synth snare, which is pretty simple. Uh, let's, of course, bypass this. There we go. Reduce the pitch. Maybe reduce a little more. There, that sounds more in line. Um, and then what you can do, I forget what I did over here with my snares. I use the rattler, and yes, I use the rattler on the snares. The rattler is a good device to use on them simply because it it shakes things up a little bit gives you a little bit more of that shake. You can hear it without it. it. Gives you a little bit of that brush kit feel to it. So you can actually add on a little rattler there. Um, what else can you do? You can probably do a little tape echo too if it's not too, too much. Bring the wobble down or actually bring it up a little. A little bit of feedback. Um, bring the frequency down. There you go. Probably down a little bit more. Probably bring the resonance up, 
and bring the dry wet down just a little bit. Maybe reduce the time. So there, that gives you a pretty decent snare. On the other one, we will, let's try to do a snare using some of the samples here. Why not? Let's give it a shot. Okay, uh, let us take, see how this sounds. Kind of hard to do it on that one. Um, nope, that's not going to give me what I want. This is probably going to be a little too loud, so I might have to reduce the level. Okay. Okay, um, let us up the attack. Let us bring the pitch up a little. Mm, maybe not. Level down. Okay, we can do that. And um, the other thing we can do, let's add a little maybe reverb to it. Uh, I'll bring the width down, put the dampening up a little. Size down, decay down. Okay, that probably is still sounding a little bit off. So, um, easy enough, let's take a different sound. Okay. So you can experiment a little bit with the Rattler. I find the Rattler gives a nice little snare sound. Um, the other thing you can do with a snare drum, let's go back to our original sound that we wanted over here. Uh, was that it? There we go. Okay. Instead of using the reverb, um, let's use the noise. Let's bring the pitch down. Or no, let's bring it up a little. Okay. Bring the decay down. Not that much. Okay. Let's bring the sweep down, resonance up, and the click down a little. Your click is actually going to give you a lot of difference in sound. You'll hear that. So you can play around with that, bring it up or down. So that's, we've got a couple of different snares there. Um, in the next part of this video series, I will show you how to create some hi-hats, how to exclude the hi-hats, and start adding some um, synths and trigger some synths with your, with your pad. So for now, this is um, we built the snares and the reverse kick on this one. Thanks a lot. It's Rob at Reason101.net, and stay tuned for part three.